in my personal experience, um, we've had a lot, uh, my family and I, uh, we've had a lot of these kinds of incidences in our lives. I, I was born in Burma, where uh, being from an ethnically Indian background meant that we were the rejected group or one of the rejected groups. My father was conscripted into the army because he was a professional from an Indian ethnic background and sent to fl far-flung places so that such people wouldn't be uh, combining together to create dissent of some kind that the uh, regime was threatened by. Um, and, and when we came to Australia, we thought this was a paradise of freedom and equality. But uh, perhaps I can just give you one example. Just a few months ago, I was walking down the street near my workplace, and this very respectable lady, not at all a bare-chested man wearing a flag, a very respectable <laughs> middle-aged lady came the other way, was looking at me, and so I thought, oh, perhaps she's going to ask me for directions. She looked at me and she spat out, you're a disgrace to your culture. And I went, whoa, um, where did that come from? I don't know. I, I think I can only describe it in terms of feeling insecure about her place in this society or in this culture. And um, I tried to make a joke of it. Maybe it was because I was wearing a T-shirt with, you know, a thousand digits of pi written on it. Uh, actually, <laughs> it's, it's actually, you know, pi has an infinite decimal expansion. You can't truncate it. So <laughs> she, was, she was objecting. Um, 